All right. So, <laughs> so my name is Yoko. Um, I work with Red Hat. I was supposed to have this session together with Kevin, uh, talking about DPDK and how the packet goes through uh, and what to, what you can do to troubleshoot it. Um, we, I think our session got uh, back to seven minute session, so we we skipped some of the stuff and tried to to look a bit at what patches are uh, recently being added that help troubleshooting uh, in this scenario. Um, and the goal is to to rather than have a full presentation now, is to convert it to some of the blog, blog posts that we already have on OVN and OVS, um, and we will probably add some of the details there. Um, for this session, uh, what we did, we um, we looked at the famous uh, PPP test scenarios, um, where the packets uh, could either have two directions going into DPDK. Uh, it's either receiving in the receiving path, so packets coming from the PMD driver into the PMD thread, um, and the other direction is trying to send out those packets. And what we're going to do is look a little bit at what uh, debug counters are recently added, so we can see. Um, you know, where the packets get stalled and what sort of the first steps could be to look at what the problem is. Okay, <laughs> so first, uh, the receive path. Uh, and what we mean with the receive path from a DPDK, uh, OVS DPDK perspective, are the packets that actually are read from the hardware or from the vhost side of the thing. So if you look at the previous picture, I don't, I'm not going back and forth because it takes too long. Uh, it Closer? Okay, um, from the previous packets, it's the, the, the line into the, uh, the middle one. Um, so what kind of counters are currently available? So we have the, uh, the receive QoS drops, which is not really a, you know, indicating a problem. It indicates that you're actually, you're configured your system in such a way that you would like to drop certain packets when you're um, over a, a certain limit. So if you see those counters increment, that's, that's probably something you have to go and look at your configuration uh, because that's what you're trying to configure. Um, then we have the uh, receive drops. Uh, which are actually a combination of, uh, of two drops. It's the, uh, the QoS drops, uh, but more important, it's the uh, RTE uh, stats for the uh, no M buffs available. So that is a counter that are in incremented by the DPDK uh, software when there is no, there is, the driver cannot allocate packets to, to, to give to the hardware. Um, so if you see that happening, that's probably um, a performance issue that the, the, the software is not keeping up with the hardware. The same for the RX missed ones. Um, uh, those those are the uh, are, are relate back to the RTE stats I missed, which basically means the hardware is trying to actually uh, receive packets, but there's no buffers in the hardware to to stuff them in to the software. Uh, so that's also an indication that your PMD thread is not fast enough uh, to to read from the hardware. Um, you can probably, if you run into this problem, you could probably start and take a look at the um, the PMD statistics, uh, and there you could determine where your your cycles go, and then maybe try to figure out if you either have overdimensioned your uh, your PMD thread, uh, or there is something else going on that that might delay your PMD thread. Uh, and we have some examples on the vhost side uh, in, in a couple of slides later. There we go. <laughs> So on a transmit side, so meaning packets that are already received from your hardware or your vhost queue, and you would like to send them out. So there is a, a couple of, of, uh, of counter, uh, counters there as well. So you have the, the transmit counters there, which is basically meaning that um, OVS was not able to hand off the packets to the uh, PMD driver for some reason. So basically the PM, PMD driver tells you I cannot, I don't have any buffers left or I, I, I have no way of sending the packets uh, out to the interface. You have the MTU exceeded counter. Um, that's also, so OVS uh, looks at your configuration and if you're trying to send a packet that doesn't match the MTU, the maximum MTU size, it will drop it there so it will not even send it uh, to the driver level. So that's where you get those counters incremented. Uh, the TXQOS is the same as the receive side, so that's probably one of your configurations. So you have set up your system that you would like to drop packets if, you, if they go over a certain limit. Um, so if you get that one, uh, it's probably, Due to a configuration in your that that you're dropping those packets, um, and then there is TX drop, which is basically a total of all of the above. Um, and I think um, the history behind it is that the 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 three ones above are are recently added uh, due to a patch that got included, um, but they kept the total number. So if you have any scripts using the total number, you can still have it, but you have a, a more granularity um, if you use the other the other one. <laughs> And then another interesting one is the uh, OVS TX retries. Um, this is v vhost related. So every time when you try to send a packet to the vhost, 
um, interface and you, uh, and you and the queue is full, it will try, retry a couple of times in a row, by default eight times, to still see if, the, if there is room in the queue. So we've, we've done some profiling on it and we actually figured out that it doesn't really help doing the, the retries there um, at all because your, your virtual machine is probably not faster than your PMD loop spinning to see if the queue is empty. Um, but if you do see this, this is a very nice indication that um, your virtual machine is not fast enough processing the packets that you you provide them. So in, in if you see that countering, so if you see that counter increment, you probably have to look at your virtual machine how it's dimensioned by reading the queue. Uh, so you might either maybe add more queues or or more CPUs to your virtual machine because it's. If you see this, it's probably not uh, OVS related. It's it's related to your virtual machine, not keeping up. So all the counters we talked uh, before were all the counters related to the um, um, uh, per per interface counters. So recently there is two additional ones that added. Actually, the first one is is still under review. I think we're waiting for 19.11 to go in, which happened last week. So I, I have to respin that patch. Uh, but the idea here is that. Um, when you have your virtual machine that is pulling uh, the vhost driver, there is two ways of operation. Either it's polling mode, which probably is like you have a DPDK application running in your virtual machine and you're constantly polling uh, the interface. Uh, if there is traffic, you read it and you continue. But the other mode is that you might have a kernel driver there and the kernel driver needs to be woken up by an interrupt. And the way that's implemented uh, in the PMD is that um, when you do it, you wake up uh, you call a system call, and when you call that system call, you basically stall the PMD thread. So this counter um, gives you an indication that that is happening, and you probably have to go at, out and look for uh, the way you configured your virtual machine. It's just more of an awareness counter. And then I still have 10 seconds left, so I'm, let me do the, the final one. Um, the other one is the vhost queue. So normally when you have hardware, your queues are out of balance, or in balance, so you have the same number of ingress queue as egress queue. If you have a vhost interface, you might only have one or two queues, but you have 40 different queues maybe from hardware. Um, and then there is no mapping. So there is a mutex taken or lock taken, spin lock. Um, if you see this one increment quite a lot, that basically means you have your spin lock uh, uh, contention there. So that might also be an indication that you might want to maybe add a bit, a bit of queues to your, uh, your vhost interface. And then the final slide um, is just that there's another patch out there um, that's currently under review, which add a lot more counters, which I think will be interesting, uh, but those are more of an uh, open vSwitch related level, not at a DPDK level. So that's it. I'm 40 seconds over time. So. All right, um, let's uh, thank our speaker. Great, thank you. Uh, so our second uh, speaker in the